a country of over 45 million people, Kenya is home to barely 26,000 mortgage accounts. Access to affordable long-term funding is often cited as a reason why there isn't, well, why there aren't more homeowners in the East African nation. Well, it isn't just Kenya's mortgage ma market that is constrained. According to central bank data, lending to the building and construction sector posted annual growth of 2.6% in February. In the real estate segment, it shrunk for the third month in a row, contracting by 2.9%. Now, collectively, these two segments account for about 19.7% of total lending to the private sector. Well, following the launch of the Kenya Mortgage Refinancing Company barely 24 hours ago, I spoke to interim CEO Johnston Altetia, and I started by asking him how exactly the KMRC will fix the shortage of long-term capital in Kenya's housing market. Now, you realize that banks, for example, have liquidity um, in the country. SACOs don't have, but the liquidity that they have is pretty much short term. So it is the deposits that they get from Monainji, and that is usually considered short term, and their liabilities to the banks and the circles. Mm. Now, for institutions to be able to lend long term, because housing is supposed to be long term, they run the risk of having the mismatch between the short term liabilities they have mm. and the investment in long term assets. Now, KMRC is coming in to plug that problem. So the KMRC will provide long-term financing to the primary mortgage lenders, with the banks and circles, who will then extend the financing to Monainji. The cost of a mortgage is determined more significantly by the tenor, by how long it takes for you to repay that mortgage. Right. Mm -hmm. If you take a three-year mortgage, as opposed to a 15-year mortgage, a few people can afford a three-year one. A lot more people can afford a, a 15 year mortgage. Right. And the reason is when you extend the repayment period, then you create affordability. And that's mm -hmm. where KMRC is coming in to support. Right. And let's get into the nitty gritties of that. For example, <coughs> once you have lent this cash to the primary mortgage lenders, are they then legally bound to keep um, uh, uh, those facilities at a fixed rate uh, during the entire duration? Absolutely. So. KMRC, the other value proposition is provision of fixed long-term funding. Right. In our market, over 80% of lending is floating rates because the banks don't want to, you know, retain the risk, um, mm -hmm. you know, w w and that's why whenever there are changes in the rates in the market, the, p the risk is passed to the borrower. Mm -hmm. Now, KMRC will provide long-term fixed rate all the way to the to the to, to the to the maturity of that of that loan, right. and so when KMRC lends money to the primary mortgage lenders, the same benefit must be passed to the borrower. Mm -hmm. So if it is 15-year money, then the bank or the financial institution or the circle will pass that same benefit to the manager. Mm. Well, let's t talk a little bit about KM. RC. Uh, about 11, 11 savings and credit societies, they're sh shareholders uh, in KMRC. Give us a sense of how big a player they will be or how big, big of players they will be uh, in Kenya's housing sector and how d will they gain access to KMRC's uh, uh, facilities? Circles play a very fundamental role in the affordable housing space. Right. At the moment, circles don't give uh, they don't have mortgages. However, they finance people, their members, to develop incremental housing development. So they uh, you know, extend a loan, which is a personal loan, which is then used for, for housing development. We understand, in fact, from one of the studies that was done by the SACOS regulator, SASRA, that 37% of the loans they, they, they lend to the Wanainchi is actually used for housing purposes. The reason why circles were included in this solution is certainly because of that, because they play a most significant role there. And the idea now is to scale up that by providing circles with liquidity right. to be able to, to lend to, to their 190. Now, you know circles have membership, ETC, ETC, and they know their members, they even have properties and, 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 and that, that kind of investment. The moment you spar the circles we, and provide them with long-term liquidity, then certainly a lot more people will be able to benefit from that solution. 
course, I was interim CEO of Kenya's mortgage refinancing company, Johnston Altetia.